Have y'all ever seen something so sexy in your life? Look at the just look what God created. Just look at that. Just 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 look at that. What? What's your name? Well. Where you from? South Carolina. Let me see it one more time, y'all guys. Hold on. Where, where you from? South Carolina. <laughs> okay. Next question. Anyways, um, you available? Oh, okay. So, um, where can we hang at? I know we got time. I got time now. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, we, so, what's up? Where are we going? Where do you want to go? To your house. I don't know you like that now. I mean, I'm good people. That's what they all say. <laughs> Y'all wrong the fuck wrong. It made me hurt him. In two days, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. You know I'm your girl, Avis. Boy wrong. And today, you guys, we just at the park with our children. Getting some of this beautiful fresh air. It's so beautiful today. It's so nice and hot, but it's so windy. So it's really, really nice today. Really nice. So um, yeah. I had a question. Um, someone asked me a question about Rome. What's up? On um I snap. They asked you a question about me. Mm-hmm. About your court situation. And tell them we don't know we're still waiting, but now we're not still waiting anymore. It's official now. It happened on September the 4th, and it is now what? April the 26th. And Rome is now actually getting, he wasn't getting, he has a court date to actually stand in front of the judge now. And um, it's on March the 31st. So basically, next Thursday. <sighs> yeah. And got all kind of mixed feelings and emotions about this whole ordeal because the whole situation was effed up and it was it's not fair, wasn't right. But like we said, we leave it in God's hands and we prayed about it, and that's just that's just what it is. So I mean, the wind blowing, guys. So I know we're probably gonna hear it in the camera, but um. When I read the guy, the cop statement, literally, the whole thing, whole freaking thing, he said, I'm like, oh my God, he lied. He even lied on me. I'm like, bitch, you sat here and blatantly lied. Like, fuck, but I said, you know what? You may have a lot of this paper and, and lie on somebody else trying to get them in trouble or whatever the case it may be. On your statement, instead of just telling the truth, God will have the last say so with you. Okay? So, we can't worry ourselves. And that thing about bother, bother us the most. Yes, you get to tell what happened in the courtroom. But before you even get a chance to tell your side, they done read you and basically already decided what they're going to do to you and already read what, what was saying so automatically for to take somebody else's word without hearing somebody else. That's my thing. You already have a perception on someone that you don't even know but, you, but, but you're but you feeling like they're this type of person just by reading them from a piece of paper. That would bother me the most. He going to see all these lies before he even get to see Rome, no Rome, no his story or anything. That would bother me the most. And another thing that bothers me the most is that we actually have to go through this. Hubby actually have to be in an actual courtroom and stand before a judge like he's God. Like, only person supposed to judge anybody is God. But this guy is judging Rome based off something that's on a piece of paper. Rome didn't take the phones. People got the phones back. Definitely mistaken their phones, the other people's phones, for their phones. Because Eric, because I, my, my thing still is too. Why would they put their phones into our cubbyhole and mistake it, 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 it? Just I don't know. But anyway, Destiny, if you're new to the channel, Destiny picked up someone else's phone at a theme park. We was at a theme park at Wild Adventure. I actually picked up their phones. On the way to the next ride, you know, they see that they found they put them into the cubby hole. 
But I don't get it. Yeah. The man said he saw me pick him up. Mm-hmm. And if you saw somebody pick him up, why wouldn't you approach them and say something to him? Right. We walked around the whole park. Mm-hmm. The whole park. You even stand beside the policeman talking to him. But you see me pick him up. You could have walked over there with the police, man. Like, I saw you pick him up. Let me check your bag. Let me see if you got him in your bag. Right. You ain't did none of that. And then when the phone go off, after me, uh, my wife now, I went hit her. I hear the phone going off in the bag. So I'm like, why it was tracking me? Because so I was tracking I, him. When I passed by the man, he told me something. But this is what I ain't get. You say you saw me saw um you saw me grab your phone. But when I passed by and the phone went off, the first thing came out your mouth, oh he got the phones, he got the phone. But you said you saw me got him. Why would you say he got the phone? And like he was the man was saying, I ain't trying to pass no charge, I just want the phone back. I just want the phone back. The, the whole situation was just fucked up. And then the cop want to say that, oh, Rome threatened yeah. him. He hit him. You, everybody know, okay? If Rome actually hit him. Come on, let's be true. I wouldn't even be here right now. He wouldn't be here right now. I'd be locked up. Fuck that. He, you were most likely you would have been shot. If you would have actually hit him, all that shit he said you did. Who ain't grabbing for their gun? And then he, he, he put in the thing that he, he had to pull his tail out. He said he, he had never pulled that taser out. He got his hand on the taser. I'm already on the ground. I'm already on my knees with the other um the third what security, security guard, guard that's worked there. I'm on my knees already. I'm an assistant and I'm on my knees. The lady who were actually recorded it, you guys, I don't even know her. She's from Jacksonville. I said, wow. She recorded oh, it and really? sent it to me. That's crazy. She said, hey, I, I called and asked her, did that man ever pull a taser out on him? She said, no, he never pulled no taser out. The man wrote in his statement, he pulled a taser out on Ron. He ain't never pulled a taser out on me. And she said, no, your husband never hit that man or touched that man. And the accusation that Ron threatened him, no, Ron not threatened me. Ron told the security guard. Because the security guard is one who slammed Destiny. He told the security guard, if he touches his again, it's going to be a fucking problem. But then again, Rome already on the ground with his hands behind his back with this cop with his knee on his wrong back and neck. Why are you stay? Why are you sitting on top of him? Why are you on top of him if it's, if, it's, if he's already on the ground laying down in dirt? He had the nerve to say we jumped him. How in the hell? Yeah, he said Rome, Rome and my daughter Destiny jumped him. He had all of this in his fucking statement. And I'm like, I just pray to God they got the footage to show What's what? Because Destiny, yes. When Destiny went to court, she pleaded guilty. She said, Mama, I did hit him. I did hit the cop. Destiny got on purpose for six months. And I take anger management. Destiny, yes, Mama, I did hit the cop. And I grabbed the cop. Because he was hurting my daddy. But see, I ain't, I ain't never touched him. I ain't but the thing is, home. when they heard the phone go off, Destiny heard the phone in her book bag. She pulled it out. She said, oh, my God, Dad, no, we... Oh, well, he put it out and said, oh, my God, because he heard the phone going off. Said, no, what the hell? No, no. Said, oh, we we do have the phone. They didn't, didn't even know. So, Rome, was, Rome got the phone and started, they started looking for the cop, the, the little racist white cop. I wasn't looking for the cop. I was going to finish and take it to the man that I saw around the um, thing. Around the corner, he was with the cop. No, he wasn't with the cop then. I saw when him. I, when when I, I, I saw him, him, he was with the cop. When I passed him, he wasn't with the cop. He was with his kids. Now, when I was about to turn around, when I had uh, closed the book bag up and finna turn around, I see the police coming through. Mm. He coming fast. I mean, fast, too. And then as soon as he get to me, he was like, um, give me the um, phone, you damn, I mean, you got damn thing. So, they had to snatch the phone. I don't know. Was well, the think. goddamn thief or fucking thief? Which one was it? You got damn thief. Okay. So after that, it just went out of proportion. It just everything just blew up. I mean, it elevated quick. Like 
Yeah, them grab me and have my arms up like this. When you were arresting somebody, you supposed to pull behind their back, not pull them up like this. You ain't got no reason to grab me because I'm not trying to run. I'm still standing there. You feel me? We going back, he done fell and all that. And then this minute I know, I'm talking and shit. And the rest, of, I see uh, the security guy that done, um, came out there and grabbed me. Had me on the, um, the what that thing is back there with the water at? The bench or something, I don't know. Uh, it's a little pole thing. Oh, the rail. Thing, yeah, they had me right there. And I'm like, man. So I'm riding there looking for Bird because I can't see her right now because there's so many uh, security guards on me. And then got me to the ground. I'm on my knees. He's talking about some stop existing rest. How am I existing rest, man? All these people on me. I'm on my knees. Got his hand on the taser. He ain't never pulled it out. Got his hand on the taser, but he said he pulled it out. I'm looking at him like, man, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm gonna have to tell you, you don't know, start this. What you talking about? I'm not a different race. I'm on my knees. What the fuck? Harmony and Vaughn! Harmony! Bird, tell her to get her ass in the truck now. What are we doing? She pulling all on his dirt neck and shirt and it mess and, and wonder why he get upset. Don't push, don't put your hands on him. Von Earth told him to stop telling him today. Then he just said, Destiny, get harmony. And she's still pulling on him. So she held a fast ass in this car. Oh man, I, I said, man, I don't know what's gonna happen, so hey. All I can do is go in there and tell my side and wait until the outcome. And plus, they tell my son they had witness that saw me with the phone. Like, who is your witness? Your kids? Because even if he would approach me at the thing, I said, um, load my phone and all that. If I would have showed my behind, it would have made a big cry and the people would have came. I, I didn't understand, so I was like, yeah, didn't get my, you're supposed to read somebody their rights, but ain't nobody reading my rights, they just checked me and all that and sent me to the police car and put me in the back of it, no rights read or nothing, okay. all they asked me is I had something in my pocket. What? The hell on my red red? No, you ain't eat your food yet. Can I eat a food now? Use some food right there to get the plate. I wasn't made it bad yet. I'm riding in the police car. Can I sit at the table eat? No, you're not going out there with them people, and the table is filthy nasty. Eating this car. I'm out there with, uh, riding to the, uh, the jailhouse with the police. He ain't saying nothing. So when I get in there and all that, I take the shoes and all that off and clothes and all that. But when I, um, like signing in, whatever call, I had to go see the doctors later. Mm-hmm. He gonna tell my son. I wish you good luck. Man, you ain't saying Not the one who who threw, threw him to the ground and arrested him. It's a because he was a, a Florida, I mean a Georgia um state patrol. This is the regular Lyons County uh sheriff or uh, officer right here. Who actually took him to the jailhouse. It was a regular sheriff, policeman, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, he'll tell my son, I wish you good luck. I'm I'm looking at him like why and and them cops that was there that came that and them cops that came that was there um to uh, that that came to uh assist the the the, the, the guy he, they they was nasty as fuck too. They I said these are some nasty ass fucking um, police officers down here. Like literally, I'm, they just judging just by seeing you. They don't they 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 didn't give a fuck. I'm looking like, what the fuck. I'm telling the man, I'm talking to the man that got me, and she, I'm like, man, I don't want him to touch me, man. You can take me, I'll walk, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no problem walking, I just don't want him to touch me, man. We just got into, you know what I'm saying? That joke wasn't even paying me no attention. And the man still saying slick shit while he walking. Oh, man. He... Just like saying all kinds of stuff. I say, wrong, don't say a word because they trying to provoke you for you to act up. That's what they want. Just shut up.
Let them say with well, all that shit, that all that shit they keep talking. Just let them say whatever they want to say because they're and literally they, just talking shit. To, oh, so I thought you didn't have a phone. The, yeah, thought you didn't have a phone and cracking jokes and laughing. I'm like, this, these motherfuckers down here are so unprofessional. Oh, sorry, and you I want you and you. No criminal, huh? and I thought you weren't no criminal. And you want people to respect y'all as police officers and cops? I said, wow. How do I was respect y'all and y'all worse than the people in the street? Y'all just as bad as them. So how you want people to respect y'all when you do the same shit? I'm like, damn, y'all don't even probably be saying shit like this to me. And the thing is, like, like I said, we have never had any type of nothing with any type of officers at all. We in Florida. Okay? I'm friends with someone. We I, we have friends that are state patrols, who are sheriffs. My cousin is the, is the chief of police in Monticello. In Monticello. We have family and friends who are police officers and cops and state troopers and everything. Everything. Whether we just meet to be friendly or whatever, but when they see us, they see us speak, oh, what's up, Ava, or whatever, whatever. Even if we get pulled over for speeding, they still not nasty. They still not disrespectful. They still not rude. But Georgia... Like y'all said, that's a whole other fucking world up there. Yeah, everybody that say I got in trouble in Georgia, they're like, oh shit, bro, what county? And I told them what county, they're like, man, right. nasty up there, bro. Georgia is a they, whole nother ball game compared to our beautiful sunshine state. They say, boy, you, you got messed up in the wrong time. If you're going to tell something, just tell it right. Just tell it right. Just tell the truth what really happened. Don't sit there and lie about it. You lie, and that's what makes it horrible because people going to judge him off that lying bullshit that you said. You blatantly lied. And he wasn't answer cop anyway because when I first saw him, I was sitting down on the bench my kids were on the ride. I spoke to him. He didn't open his damn mouth. And then um, the next time, this damn vehicle that came out here with all this darn noise, they let my window up. And then, um, then when he approached Rome, about 15, 15, 20 minutes later, and that's when I went the fuck off, and that's why his ego was bruised, and that's why I said that he probably did wrong the way he did wrong, because I, I literally went the fuck off with him. Don't try to approach him um, about no damn phone when he clearly has his own phone right now, or uh, he's on his phone. Like I like I went off. I was pissed off because I just spoke to you, and now you over here question my husband because, because of what? A phone? Not even knowing that Destiny actually picked up the phone. Not fucking knowing, but the point is, I'm already upset because I upset but bothered that you didn't speak when I spoke to you. You looked at my face and turned your nasty ass head, but then you want to approach my husband by the phone. Okay. Make that make sense to me. I don't know. So, yeah, I feel his ego was bruised because I went off with him in front of everybody and walked the fuck off with me and my kids and my family. So when he actually caught up with Ron and, and Ron them end up when Ron them actually did find the phones in the, in the in the book bag, I said that was his way of showing his ass and getting the upper hand. Cause you know I can't do that. Right. Cause I would have been in, I would have been in more trouble. Then the man pushed my daughter, push push uh, Trini. Trini was what? Trini was nine. She just cause she was turning ten in the next day or two. He then pushed my baby. I got it on camera. He had to push my child. So yeah. It's just a whole big bunch of shit. So um You're not getting into that cake right now. On the thirty first is when he goes to court. And then on the fourth or the fifth of April. I guess that's, it said somebody trial or something. I don't know. Yeah, well, I guess when I find out what I'm getting, you know, what's going to happen to I don't know how it goes, how, how what it means. The first one is there's somebody plea thing and whatever. And then the, the other date said somebody trial. So, I don't know. I guess the first one is to plead my case and all that. And then I go to the trial next. So y'all want to know that's what's going on and we actually got dates and 
Man, could you give me a jump? You got a jump, okay? Why well, we can't be getting up by no darn jump? We had to get our jump the other day for, 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 for that. We're not out of the damn darn car so darn whatever the battery went low. You got a local phone I could call somebody. Well, you got your phone. Huh? All right, you guys. Man, I hate to ask, but the only phones I.